In a prior video, we looked at doing um, querying or selection using the attribute information, so like select by attribute. Um, it is also possible to do selections based on um, spatial location or um, their spatial relationships relative to other map features. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. Okay, so again, I have some tornado uh, points across this uh, across the country, and let's say we just wanted to collect a subsample of these that met a certain criteria. So first, let's see. Let's just find the tornadoes that fall within like Texas. So to do that, I'm going to select Texas. So I'm going to need to be clicked on states over here. I'm just going to click within Texas and select it. And then to do the select by location component, we can go to vector. And this is actually under research tools. I'm not really sure why, but that's where it is. <laughs> um, and then select by location. And what we want to select are the tornadoes. And they, they intersect the states. Um, or you could use um, R within. Since they're points, that's going to give you back the same result. Note that you can actually use multiple selection options if you want. So we use R within there. And then states, and we only want to use the selected feature. And we're going to create a new selection from scratch, a new selection of the tornadoes. Okay, so to close that, now we should see that those tornadoes um, that are within Texas have now been selected. Let's say we want to add some something to that selection. So. Um, let's say we wanted to add in all the Oklahoma ones. So what I'm going to do is, again, switch. make sure I have states switched on there. Click on Oklahoma. And then we're going to go back and repeat that process. We're going to go to select by location. And then R within, states. Um, actually, I mean, this doesn't really matter, but I'm going to unselect Texas. Um, and then go back to this, select by location, R within, tornadoes, R within, states, just to select it. And now instead of doing a create new selection, we want to add to current selection. Okay, so now we should have the ones in, in Oklahoma and the ones in um, Texas selected, but none of the other um, features. And then if you wanted, you could even combine this analysis with, um, with, uh, with some type of like attribute query. So to do that, let's, let's uh, find the attribute query. So we'll use uh, select features by expression. You could do um, with values if you wanted. So let's do, uh, let's see, we want to work with, oh, that's states. I need to be clicked on the tornadoes. Um, so open up this expression editor here, um, field, let's use its F score, so this is like the Fujita scale value. So let's find all the tornadoes that are, have an F scale that are greater than, and that should be under your operators, greater than, and then we got to give it a number, so we'll say greater than 2, so F scale greater than 2. Um, and then... Instead of doing a select features, we could do a filter current selection. So what that's going to do is just of the current features that are already been selected using spatial location, it's going to return back just the ones that are above two on the Fujita scale. Um, so we'll do uh, that. So filter selection, and there you go. So we should have. It looks like there's eight tornadoes spread out across Oklahoma and Texas in this data set that had an F scale value greater than 2. All right, and then if you wanted to actually save that output, then you could go to Export, Save Features As. Um, I'm just going to throw them in this, uh, throw them in this uh, geo package I'm working with. And we'll call that Tor Sub. And then to make sure that it only fill or uh, exports out the selected features, we're going to click this Save Only Selected Features option. And it looks like I've already saved that. Oh, never mind. Do the same. Want to overwrite the geo package? I just want to um, 
overwrite layer. Okay, so now if I turn this off, those are our um, subset of, of features that we uh, that met those criteria in Oklahoma or Texas and above a 2 on the Fujita uh, scale. Okay, so that's just uh, expanding again upon our, the, some of the selection techniques we looked at in an earlier video. In this case, we're looking at doing select by location as opposed to just attribute selections.